now that Vietnam is finally open. I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> Coconut coffee. That was worth traveling all the way here for. Chinese banh mi. They've convinced us to try their duck. Yes, they do puppets in water. Amazing wonton. And Gary the Roaming Cook, highly recommended for having snails. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Surprise, we're at the airport. We took a couple weeks off from filming to try and get caught up on videos and just rest a little bit. Now we're headed to Vietnam before that announcement starts. We'll see you there. This was our first time flying Vietjet Airways and for a budget airline, they were actually pretty nice. You might be wondering why we came to Vietnam after the last time when a rude wave came and took my favorite sunglasses. During lockdown, we were watching a ton of travel videos and I came across Vietnam and they had combined two of my favorite things, crispy bread and cilantro. Now that Vietnam is finally open, we're gonna experience a banh mi sandwich. Sometimes picking a place to visit can be as simple as a sandwich. First things first, we need some coffee. So we're gonna try the famous egg coffee and coconut coffee right here at the Wispy Cafe. I didn't think we were gonna to find it. It was down an alley and up some stairs. We had to look for the signs. Coconut coffee. It's like a slushy coconut ice cream with espresso poured over it. Oh, that is fantastic. Egg coffee. And the most beautiful egg coffee I've ever seen. It's like coffee with marshmallow, but not really sweet marshmallow. It's pretty good. Wonderful. We thought this building was abandoned, but it's got tons of shops and people living in it. It's the coolest place. Now that we're all fueled up with coffee, it's time to go find, oops, excuse me. <laughs> time to go find somebody to run into on the street. It is time to go find Fluffy in the way. It is time to go find our first banh mi sandwiches. I'm gonna try a banh mi here. I've heard that it's good. There's a whole bunch of different styles because you don't know what they're gonna put inside the bread. But let's see it. We said banh mi and he's making it. I don't know what it's gonna be. <laughs> a little more peaceful eating over here than over there. Oh, wow. That was worth traveling all the way here for. The crunchy bread, the cilantro is really fresh, crispy onions, and the pate gives it a salty bite. That's fantastic. While we were in lockdown, I tried to make one of these just by looking it up on the internet. It cost me $20. <laughs> this is only $1.25. Pass that over. See you in a bit. Next. Out here, first will be your constant companion. Drink water, stay alive. Dehydration can actually lead to shrinkage of the brain. This is a Chinese banh mi. She just asked me if I wanted pork and if I wanted it spicy with everything and I said yes. We're soon going to find out if Chris is going to be eating all of this or I'm going to help. <laughs> and thank you Karen and Henward for recommending this. Her grandfather opened this place in 1938. Now it's not for me. Oh, that was really good. I need a napkin. <laughs> Pork is really crispy. Ooh, there's a spicy sauce on it. Pickled vegetables are really good. This is totally different than the last one. Ooh, that spice really hits the spot. I like this. That was so delicious. They've convinced us to try their duck on me. Here we go. This is the duck. Gangnam Style. Ooh, subtle flavor. It has a sweetness to it from the duck. And that spicy sauce you put on it is really good. I like it. I'm gonna have enjoy trying these all over the city. Lovely place, lovely people. It adds a little something special to a meal when we get the family history of the place. Excellent food. A couple years ago, crossing traffic stressed me out so much I'd have to sit in the corner in our hotel room and just oh, breathe. But now, it's nothing. And that's a good thing because I took us to the wrong side of the street where we're actually supposed to be where we originally were. I saw the water puppet show online and it looked really cool. Yes, they do puppets in water. If you buy the tickets online, they're 12, they're $17 each, but if you buy them at the box office, they're 12 a piece. 
puppy's in the way. Puppy's starting to cause problems. He keeps jumping into the shots. It's in the mid 90s with high humidity. We're having a great time wandering around, but it's never a bad time to stop for a little break. There is just a gorgeous park right here in the middle of the city. I've seen a rat and so a lizard. There's rats, yeah. Big giant blue lizard. Uh, I like to add those little tidbits that drive him nuts when he has to edit. <laughs> Our lovely tour guide has a couple more things for us today. This is the Central Market. It's underground and it has AC. This is really nice. That's a win. That was more of a shopping mall. All the food court is closed off and it was really small. I think now we need a massage, so we'll catch you later tonight. Well, the tickets were a little more expensive than I thought, so hopefully it's well worth it. Good seats. Searching for some more places to try egg coffee, we came across the Little Hanoi Cafe, a charming little gym tucked away in an alley right in the heart of Saigon's District 1. Well, the Google reviews on this place were great, the food and the coffee were even better, highlighted by the absolute best grilled ham and cheese sandwich either of us have ever had. That sandwich was the only good thing going on in my life. This is our favorite place to eat. And we've eaten here a number of times, and we haven't done a video. It's the most amazing wonton. When we first came here, the lady came over to it with a handful of wontons and noodles, and we wanted to know which one. But now, we sit down and she just brings us our wonton soup. There they are. <laughs> Hello. 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 Definitely come here. You will love it. The people are so sweet, and it is just one of the best soups I've had in Vietnam. The Binton Market is more of a classic market. It has everything you could want. This is a touristy Instagram picture. You gotta get it. We were wandering around and I saw this place and Gary the Roaming Cook highly recommended. No noodle tour of Saigon would be complete without stopping at my favorite noodle joint. I can't pronounce this, but I took a picture. We're gonna try this. You order across the street and then you come over here, grab a table and chair and sit down and they deliver. It's rice noodles with crispy spring rolls and meat and vegetables. Deep fried. Oh wow. They're savory. They have a little bit of bite to them. They're really good. The combination of the rice noodles and the peanuts with the vegetables. This is a winner. That's spicy, but it's really sweet too. That's good. Each bowl was 60,000 dong, which is about 250 US for a delicious meal. Cannot recommend this place enough. Gary, great recommendation. Well, it's a new day. We came back to that spring roll place. We met the most lovely family. Everywhere we go here in Saigon, in Ho Chi Minh City, it just seems that we meet the most helpful people. People see us looking or struggling, they just come and offer help. They helped us order a coconut and lime drink, which you know that we loved. It's kind of the same thing we got in Bali, the Escoot. And here, I think it was called Yada. I probably pronounced that very wrong, but if anybody can correct me, go ahead and throw it down in the comments. Anyways, lovely people, amazing food. This place is just blowing our minds. Sean and Molly have been showing us around the city all day. We weren't going to film, but we're having snails. So we got to film. <laughs> so these two are now movie stars. <laughs> hey. Sean is going to talk us through how to eat these. Holy crap, it's hot, sorry. <laughs> Okay, that's way too hot. <laughs> so I'll tell you what you gotta do when it's not fresh off the whatever they cook it on. You get your little toothpicky kind of thing, you pull out the snail, they cooked it in some awesome garlic and chili, I think. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. and you just get it done and go. Really, really good. It's hot, right? Yeah, but I was expecting them to come out. Oh, so basically you got to get in and oh, stab him. Yeah. Oh, those are wonderful. Yeah. Very chewy. Yeah. You, can you really taste the garlic in them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to try the rest of them. Some people eat worms. Katie loves snails. <laughs> Here's the rest. Ooh. I thought the snails would be a little more gushy. They remind me of abalone. They're really uh, chewy and the, each one has a different flavor. I would come here again. Kids, you've got to try snails and where all you do is point and they actually cook them however they're supposed to cook them. So this is really cool and that probably made absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> You're 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 a professional, baby. You're you're a movie star in the making. Keep drinking this coffee. Make <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>